Hey folks, welcome back to Gaming Garbage, where we take a look at games, chat about the industry, and stream for fun. So if you've missed it, I did uh, my personal thoughts on Summer Game Fest 2023, and then I've also taken a look at the demo of Lies of P, uh, which is like a Dark Souls game. If you, uh, if you don't know uh, what that is. And uh, yeah, I feel like Summer Fest could have been better. But, you know, we're getting this saturation of games now, or this, uh, of showcases, and there's just no way to, um, really stop that from happening, because, you know, we don't have E3 anymore, that got cancelled, and so now we just have everybody trying to do their own, and, uh, yeah, it's just turning into a mess. Alright, just checking my audio there, making sure it's alright. Steam, or, uh, Twitch has still been a problem. And yeah, there's still really no fix for it, but... Oh well. Yeah, I'm still working on that too, folks. Yeah, there's still no temp like permanent fix, and I really think it's on Twitch's end. Right now we're going to be doing, uh, continuing with Project there's Wingman. We're going to be Mission Star 9. Operation Blackout will be conducted entirely by you. I cannot, however, express enough how important this strike is. Commander, you have the floor. The Ator Desert has hosted the Solana communication array for the greater part of the decade. It was a Federation project in country that was meant to boost and maintain the communications infrastructure of Cascadia. However, during the war, it has served as a jamming and communication facility. The very basis of a unified command structure is built on the pillars of communication. If we take out this facility, it'll be like yanking the rug out right from beneath their feet. The facility is heavily defended, hosting an airbase and a ground garrison on its own. The only way we're getting boots on the ground is via a mass airdrop, followed by relentless close air support from our fighter group until the entire place is overrun. It's as simple as that. Now normally, the Independence Force would be offering some assistance, but they can't afford that now. Under any other pretense, this is a suicide mission. Even with the air corridor Monarch cleared up, there's only enough fuel for a one-way trip. So the only way we're coming <coughs> back is if we take the adjoining airbase after we hit the facility. Expect heavy air and ground resistance. Pillboxes, tanks, AA, airships, the whole shebang. If we pull this off, well, let's just say we'll be handsomely rewarded. Gold or glory, gentlemen, get to your planes. The Cascadians call this place the Devil's Sandbox. So what does that mean if we're the ones playing in it, huh? <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, I gotta say again, I have really been enjoying this game. And it blows me away, it's just made by three people. There's two devs, and there's, uh, there's one person that did the music and that's it i mean that's the entire studio so d2 i think refers to just two people two devs that's it it's truly amazing what they've done so far i'm just uh yeah i'm just astounded and if two people can design this entire game and one person can do music how can these triple a studios not get their stuff together to actually make a game that's that's ready for everybody. You know what I mean? I mean, for Pete's sakes, we've had some doozies, folks, over the last several years. I know COVID was a mess. It doesn't help either that a lot of people retired. But still, it's like the total quality of gaming is just junk. And I really feel like people are starting to wake up to that. Total destruction of the enemy communication facilities are a prime objective for this operation. And I love flight sims. They are so fun. Over to you, boss. This is the largest deployment in our history as a mercenary group. The independence force put a lot of faith in us for this operation. Let's not disappoint. So I guess that also means large staff, right? I wish I could say the same. Okay, all flights. Looks like the only defenses aren't the only issue now. 
And I still like, too, that uh, the AI in this game actually help you. They actually do something. Look at that. Right there, there's proof. Freaking perfect. I'm only gonna get to one, maybe. Nope, I didn't even get that. They're killing them before I can get there. Let's get to work. Got one left. Those tanks are hauling butt.
Oh, come on. Was on that one. Oh my, we're working through a whole nother line now. Good gravy, dude. Come on. That's what I wanted. Hey, good morning! Sorry, I'm focusing a little bit. <laughs> Just looked at the chat. Yeah, good morning to you, brother. Yeah, honestly, I've been enjoying Project Wingman. It's been quite the surprise. It, so far, it's the best surprise this year. I mean, I'm amazed only three people were on the project. And, um... Uh, Man, it has been so incredibly fun. And, you know, we got so many games out there that just don't deliver. And uh, it's just so depressing. Fox 2, Fox 2. Good job, good job. 
But yeah, something like this. Uh, you know, it was on sale last week for like twelve fifty. And yeah, this is amazing. This is amazing for twelve fifty. Like, oops, I was looking at the chat. Oh, bummer. <laughs> I could do it again, no worries. Yeah, honestly, um, I like the refinement better, of course. <laughs> He's gone bad. <laughs> yeah, I can't multitask, dude. It's so tough for me, but you know, hey, we all got our obstacles in life, just got to work through them. But yeah, I like the refinement better in Ace Combat. Um, really enjoyed them, really enjoy the story. Voice acting is pretty good, too. Uh, but I like that this one has conquest mode. It is, uh, it is a blast. I gotta chat a little bit. I just gotta make sure I'm at a good altitude. <laughs> that's it. That's, that's the secret. But yeah, the conquest mode in this game is so fun. And, uh, it kind of reminds me of, like, the Air Force version of Zombies. There's just an ongoing push, you know, try to do all 43 missions without dying, and, uh, yeah, that's just such a blast. I also liked, um, I also like Hawken. Hawken was pretty good, uh, which is an older game. But, man, yeah, there's just not many flight sims out there. I know it's not everybody's cup of tea. But I do wish there were more of them. Yeah, if they make a Project Wingman 2, I am absolutely buying their game. Let's see. There, I'll do that while I'm flying. Uh, the Cold War mission? Uh-uh. Haven't done that yet. What's that? Is that in the game? Or is that a different game entirely? Whoa, are you kidding me? Did I get that other pilot? I mean, I'm below 5,000 feet. That goes quick. Boop. Ooh, cool. Well, even if they just made some other flight sims, you know, and called them something else, <laughs> I'll be all good with that. This this game is, uh, yeah, this game is way more fun than I ever anticipated.
get these fighters out of the air. Yeah, are there any other games out there that you know of that are some flight sims that are that are relatively good? Ooh, yeah, that was close. Yeah, I enjoyed some of the Ace Combats, the, some of the older ones. Probably my favorites are, uh, well, my favorite is number five, the Unsung War. But the only port that Xbox has is Assault Horizons, uh, number six, Fires of Liberation, which they don't let you to buy from the store anyway, which is stupid. Um, those were both 360 games. And then um, all of the other Ace Combats besides seven, they're only on, on PlayStation. So yeah, the only one that we really have is freaking uh, Ace Combat 7, and that's it. And, I mean, yeah, I mean, you don't have Stonehenge, and you don't have, you know, the Ark Bird, and, I mean, you don't have any of that stuff. And, like, there's a whole set of lore there um, between all of these different factions and in the timeline of Ace Combat. And it's just, you're missing it all. It sucks. You know, and so will my kids, unfortunately. He was almost wiped out. He barely had any health left at all. is shooting me from the ground over there. It's all tanks, isn't it? No, that one won't be ready. Oh, it's got to be that. Maybe.
Oh yeah, let's go, baby. Let's see, we'll go left again. Try to get some of those other aircraft before they take off. Can't evade forever, dude. Oh yeah, the missiles are kicking up a notch now. taken off. Left some bunkers, AA guns. Oh, we'll get that one.
Yeah, there was one more back there. the heck is that? Does that show up on my... it should. Oh, I think it does. Just barely. Okay. Well, let's get the big dog. This game. This game is so fun. Pick up what you need to get out of here. We can celebrate when we're back at Rose Dower. <sighs> All pilots, listen up. Oh, bro, here it is. Mission 10 Cold War. Predisposed and other operations are to be scrambled immediately and make their way to the Bering Strait. In the days since the destruction of the Solana communication relay, the Federation has been disorganized. So this is a really fun one, huh? Electronic warfare countermeasures. It is because of this our first conventional victories up and down the front lines are being reported, and the Federation is dealing with losses it hasn't had to deal with in decades. Recently, in order to improve individual unit combat effectiveness. The Federation has been discharging Cascadian manned units and replaced them with soldiers who aren't nationals. Subsequently, many of our once misguided countrymen have defected and are providing us with invaluable intel and manpower. Earlier today, one of our patrols caught a group of transports using the cover of an Arctic storm to get unorganized and underpowered Federation units out of Cascadia, probably to regroup and redeploy later. The patrol engaged and the Federation sent more fighters to cover them. Seeing as these transports represent the bulk of Federation forces who have experienced fighting us, we did not want them to regroup, so we sent more reinforcements. Squadron leaders and base commanders on both their side and ours have been escalating force deployment ever since combat began. High-profile squadrons and our forces in theirs are currently present. The snowball effect, however, has inadvertently created by all accounts what is turning out to be the most expansive aerial battle in the war thus far. Oh, wow. Steadily falling out of control. We cannot let the Federation have any more of their forces escape and regroup, even if it means the largest furball in history. Oh, man. Well, let's see. And get uh 
Oh yeah, I can't carry anymore, can I? Oh well. I have as many AA as I can. Yeah. Alrighty. Yeah, I have no idea what I'm in for, so let's do it. Wow, what's our altitude up here? Look at that mess. Let's see, we got 18s, probably some 15s. Yep, there they are. Come on, give me that one that I don't want. Oh man, he must have been almost wiped out. <laughs> I 
Oh yeah, no, this is a fun one. I gotta agree. Oh yeah, no, the music's great. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Bam. Oh, God, he was screwed. It wasn't getting out of that mess. <laughs> you know, in a week, I'm going to be going to an air museum with my dad. And I'm really excited about that. And it's kind of cool because we're, you know, we're both adults now. We both got families. And uh, no, I'm honestly excited just to hang with them. It's gotten tough as I've gotten older. More responsibilities, all that jazz. And then we got an air show that we're going to in August. And uh, it's like a five-hour air show. It's huge. And they got flipping everything. I can't wait. It'll be a lot of driving, but it's going to be fun. Oh yeah, where are you from? I'm in the US over here. I'm sure you knew that by the accent, probably. Oh, from Germany. Man, how have things been over there? I don't know how old you are, but uh, I've heard the prices of things, like inflation is really tough. Um, I bet you can. <laughs> but yeah, I've heard things are tough over there. I hope you guys are doing all right. I got some friends in uh, Britain that aren't doing very good, but they're hanging on still. Come on, yeah. Oh, oops. Did, uh, was I supposed to shoot those airplanes down? I probably was. Hey, good deal. Yeah, no, it's been really tough for um, quite a few people in uh, Austria. 
it uh, hasn't been fun over there. There's a few YouTube channels that I follow for, you know, for fun and just information. And um, there's a couple of them that are over in Europe. And, uh, yeah, I just want to see how my buddies are doing. Hey, there you go. Yeah, no, we're not too bad off either. It's it's definitely gotten worse where I live. We're we're about 50,000 where I live, but we're not like hundreds of thousands or like a couple million. Oh my word, I couldn't imagine. I heard, uh, well, let's see. How can I equate it? Because I don't know what the exchange rate is. But, you know, let's say rent here where I live was a thousand dollars a month and in some of these cities they've gone up to five thousand dollars a month like it's just it's just insane how expensive some of this trash is and these aren't nice apartments either they're just kind of your basic or kind of borderline crummy apartments just to keep a roof over your head yeah five thousand dollars i mean i yeah, that's five times what I'm paying up here. It's just crazy. Ooh, almost made your collision. That would have been bad. Yeah, it it is. And you know the thing that's that's about cities is you got all of those extra programs and and extra things in a city, and it all costs money and maintenance and, and more employment and just yeah the overhead cost is just so much more in a city because there's so much more stuff there. You got airports, rail, and more intricate bus systems, or you got L trains and. And uh, there's more, more social programs, too. And, uh, golly, yeah, the taxes are just nuts. And, um, and yeah, usually the more something is regulated, uh, the more it costs. Because you have to prove that something is safe or that something is done properly. And it's, it's the proof of concept that's expensive. Boom! There he goes, baby. I think that was it. I'm not heading for the ocean, am I? Okay, good deal. Is that it? Ooh, 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 yeah, look at that. Look at that V out there, baby. Let's go. Let's see. How high up are they? What's their altitude? Yeah, I got some family members that live in in a, a big city for here anyway and um, 
Yeah, they're just getting destroyed up there. It's horrible. I almost hit him, come on. Planes can turn on a dime. Come on. Yeah, look at that trash. Look at that trash. Yeah, no kidding. That's ridiculous. Like, whoop. Just, uh, yeah. Like it's on a road, it just turns. That's the same. Oops, someone else hit him. Good deal. Pop the flares. Come on, man. Can't do it forever. I can't either. <laughs> so we'll see who's gonna win here. Ooh, yeah, that was close. You know, the gun game's having a hard time keeping up with all the smoke in the air. Can't go below 200. Come on, dude. Oh, my word. Come on. Freaking die already. Oh, my word. Now I heard uh, there's been some new aircraft developments lately, and I heard that one of them is like the uh, SU. Ooh, I got him! Thank goodness. Yeah, guns. You gotta use guns. Go for it. We're gonna get some more altitude. Yeah, it's a SU-47, I think, or a 57, and it is like it is top-notch. I mean, it's it's like a borderline a sixth-gen fighter, which is just crazy. Come on, man, keep following me. Let's go. We're gonna get some altitude here so I can see. left. Alright, perfect. Do the closest one first. Let's go, buddy. Wow, yeah, look at that. Just bloop. Flipped out of nothing. up here they don't have as uh they don't have quite as much turn 
or a little slower because the air's thinner. Down there, man, I can tell I was just I was just losing. Yeah, I, I keep up with some military programs. I don't know. I keep up with a lot of stuff. And, uh, like, I'm, I'm learning a guitar right now. Um, I'm learning about um, developmental stages for my toddler uh, just so I can be a better parent. I've uh, started a little uh, auto repair shop out of my garage. Um, I've also gotten into, let's see, a couple of years ago, I also got into, uh, boy, he's accelerating away, that's crazy, um, repairing electronics and stuff, so like, your console, your controllers, your headsets, I can tear them apart, and try to fix them, um, I'm not as good at soldering, uh, I'm still really new at that, but, yeah, I'm just constantly trying to learn stuff, can't help it. And then, like, this channel, I keep up with gaming news, I, uh, I review video games, um, and then I, uh, I talk about the industry, too, as a whole, because I've been playing games a long time. Holy smokes! What the heck was that? He almost turned around and hit me. Yeah, I've been playing video games since, uh, since the mid-90s. I've been playing forever feels like forever yeah and you, you kind of got to do that as an adult you know if you're going to save money long term you, you got to figure out you figure it out yourself and it's uh you know it's tough it's certainly tough to do that i remember um i was getting ready for bed my wife was doing laundry and we had about three or four inches of water in our garage just everywhere and we broke a line. And, um, yeah, that was fun fixing that. Let me tell you, that was a steep learning curve, but I did it. Shut the water off to the house. I didn't know where that was either. But, uh, yeah, you know, to save money, you gotta learn how to do stuff. And some of it's just out of necessity. And then when you learn um, enough, you can, uh, you can help other people too. And that's that's really where the fun is uh, for me. There we go. Yeah, I used to play. I used to play a lot. I mean, ten hours a day blowing my life away. It's like, man, what a waste of time. And uh, I didn't really figure that out until uh, until a few years later, but I'm glad I figured it out later than never. And now I pretty much um, schedule my whole day. Try to use my time as best as I can. Try to keep learning. Try to keep investing in my relationships in my life. And um, Man, I'm losing here, I can't turn. All sorts of stuff. Just saving money. Oh, really? Oh, my word, a year? You gotta be kidding me. Wow. No, the longest we wait is maybe like four months at a max. Um, wow, that's nuts. You ever thought of getting into a tradesman, repairman? We we have shortages too, uh, but boy, it is not like that. Yeah, I get what you're saying. Yeah, extreme cases over here is like four months, so you guys are three times as bad over there. That's crazy. I got yeah, I got a lot of these left. Now he would. Turned on a dime like that, that's stupid. Don't worry, man. We're gonna 
get you. I'm afraid of hitting one of these guys. They turn on a dime like that. Oh, thank goodness, just four more. Man, do I have enough uh, ammo and everything for that? Rick, I hope so. This is exhausting. Oh, come on. Yeah, if you seriously wanted to make some money, doing a trade is where it's at, bro. Not even joking. Over here, our, our trades are... Oh, we're done. I didn't shoot them all down, dang it. Nah, I was doing fine. Cold War is a fun mission, I gotta tell you. Yeah, you can rest. Oh, you can rest. Well, sort of. full fury of Federation air power was unleashed today over the Bering Strait. And miraculously, thanks to the actions of the Hitman team, we have not only survived it, but bested it. The Federation's force projection capabilities will be heavily mm. decreased now that their yeah. air across the theater has been effectively decimated at the moment. It'll take some time so when you say go study, states, does that mean, like, uh, being attention. able to go to college? All that remains for them, then, is their airships. Like after high school, moving up into higher learning. Until your next orders, get some rest and expect a little bonus. We couldn't get an exact count of how many fighters you down today, but we'll just round up and call it fair. And then my other comment, uh, personally, I think computer science is going to be taken over, you know, in the long term. But, uh, you know, maybe in the next couple of decades be taken over a lot by other programs and by um, self-learning AI. So some of them can already recode themselves. Um, some very basic level uh, AI programs that can somewhat learn on their own um, are able to write essays and I mean they've already been doing that since 2015 and yeah, we've just kind of hit like a an acceleration uh, right now, uh, and I think it's because the lockdowns really pushed it that way. I mean, we took the entire world and 
just froze the economy while well, stuff still had to get done and companies still had a way to make money and so yeah some of them have switched over to programs it's it's still vastly uh human labor uh, but we are switching that way and if we look over in asia like we look at singapore or like um south korea or japan uh, they're already been moving that way uh within the last decade and they're further along than we are but yeah eventually it'll it'll move into europe and in the united states and canada so yeah i don't know i'm trying to think too like as a father how can i set up my children to be successful and uh that's really been heavy on my mind lately um, but one of the things is just to keep, keep teaching them skills. Keep teaching them that self-discipline. Hitman team, an interesting hit came up on available taskings. And I don't think anyone else from Sicario's pilots or the other Merc teams could take this on. So, listen up. Independence forced victories countrywide have cascaded into each other. The Federation, now having lost a great deal of its air forces, are falling back. Ooh, hey. As their front lines fall, Working alongside a company, that's wonderful. Elements of the Federation here in yeah, the man, the reserve. experience. Oh, so yeah, dude, you just set yourself up for a better possibility of success. The experience is huge. This rig is part of a naval-based private ownership property. Out to yeah, you can learn anything you want, but actually knowing how to implement that learning, that knowledge, is is what makes experience always more important than just head knowledge. Ooh, getting paid is always good, too. Yeah. Yep. Dude, you're doing it right. Wonderful. I wish I could say that for most of my generation over here in the States. Bunch of morons. Ooh, a hundred thousand dollars. That's a lot of ground. Man, I still like this thing. It's a little slower. 15's a little slower, but... Oh, yeah. I, I know. But it's, it's just insane just seeing my generation. So I'm 33, and um, there are still people that are my age that are basically mentally and emotionally where you're at and they just haven't grown there's been no focus there's been no goal pursuing there's been no kind of purpose you know like why they get up in the morning and it's all about just entertainment and what they can get out of life and just rip it out of other people you know to make sure that they're happy and it's truly grotesque. I, I can't even... Um, yeah, I can't even begin to explain how frustrating that is. And it's just draining the culture over here. It, it is just... Uh, it's just slowly destroying it. It's horrible to watch. I think I'll try this F-16 here. Yeah. And it is. It really is. It's, um, yeah, it's, it's so incredibly, uh, frustrating. 
you know, I got friends that, um, yeah, they're like, it's hard, dude, it's hard, and it's like, uh, yeah, it is, but, like, life is not going to be successful, or you're not going to be able to accomplish anything by doing the level of work you wish to do. You have to do the level of work that's required, which is always more than what you want to put in. But, I mean, that's how you get ahead. And you're right, too. I mean, over here, we do not save money. As soon as we get an extra 50 bucks, it's like, I'm going to blow it on slots, or I'm going to blow it on, uh, I don't know, something. Blow it on something. You know, dice for their rearview mirror in their car to hang from it. It's like, you guys are just wasting money. It's going nowhere. Massive damage. I'll take that. Massive damage sounds great. Well, I don't know. Those are pretty nice, too. Lot of, well, yeah, we'll do uh, Imlag. Yeah, is that AOA of limiter? Is that the area of effect limiter? Okay. Yeah, I had it selected, but I don't even, I'm not even sure what it does. <laughs> That is responsive. I like it. Oh yeah, that thing was trying. Holy smokes. you do that you just you know basically hit the flare button and just turn or does it just do it automatically but yeah I was missing something because I was pushing the button and I wasn't uh, I wasn't figuring it out but I'm a pretty simple guy to begin with oh, that is Oh, break the plane. Oh, crazy. Wow, that's wild. Okay. Yeah, I'll have to try that sometime. Absolutely. That sounds like cheating. Close. 
Wow. Extra power to uh, wipe those out. That's wild. Come on! Really? No way! I kind of wondered about that because there's enough variation that there's more than just three people. And I'm thinking, where do they get the voice actors from? No, yeah, what a cool game. I mean, this is... Yeah, this is a blast. I'm enjoying it so much. It's just, it's yeah, like I said earlier, it's the best surprise this year. It really is. Oop. your butt your will. Ooh. I'm pretty sure I should have hit that guy. Yeah, I hope they're working on another game. Man, I'd be I'd be so happy. Couldn't even tell you. Ooh yeah. Feeling that.
What the heck was that? Oh my word. What is this? The SP 34 uh Come on, I got a more maneuverable craft this time. Bring it freaking on, man. Missile is tracking. It's got quite the gun on it though. I'll give it that. This thing, uh, how much armor does this thing have? Hitman team, explicit orders from the top down. You are to engage and destroy. Yeah. No running from this one. That's what I'm doing, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Watch out with my own gun. Oh, great. Look at that trash. It's gotta be AI flying this thing. That's my guess, that's the story. Ah, oh, budge. Man, look at that. It's just flipping stuff all over the place. Yeah. Wow, that's ridiculous. Rail guns, huh? Man, railguns on a plane would be flipping catastrophic. If that ever got into the wrong hands or whatever you want to call it. Which I don't think anyone should really have that kind of tech on a plane anyway. It's too too powerful. Come on. Okay, yep. Feeling that. This is gonna be, uh, this is gonna be tough. Let's see. Let me get some. Yeah. Come on. Alright, we're getting away from it just barely. Is it catching up yet? Yeah. Okay, here we go. I hope this works. Nope, didn't hit on nothing. is all over the place. Gotta have a radar jamming system on it too. Somewhere. Whoop! That was close. Who got a hit? Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Let's play ball. Man, this reminds me of the boss in uh, Ace Combat 2. Yeah, this thing was just over the flipping top. Except, you're not flying out in the air, you're flying in this like crazy, insane, 
underground stadium network thing. And uh, let me tell you, that was ridiculous. Well, I, uh, oop. I hope I don't die. Really trying not to. Come on. Not take me down. Pretty, pretty please. Man, this thing's going insane. right into that thing. Can't do it much more. Oh man, come on, we're so close! Did I get him? Did I get him? Yeah, frick yeah! Oh my goodness. Oh wow. That boss sounds great. I'm excited to get there. I I'm excited to get to the end of this game, see what that boss is. Thank you, man. Good game. GG. Yeah, there's so many acronyms now in gaming, I don't even know what most of them are. <laughs> I gotta ask you young folks. Oh man, I gotta go to bed. <sighs> yeah, I got off of a night shift. Uh, yesterday morning. Took a nap, got up, got some stuff done, had dinner. And then I've been up ever since, so... But yeah, I gotta get to bed. Oh, yeah? And you're... Yeah. Oh, <laughs> wow, even you. I know. It, it's just, uh... It seems like it's just accelerating so quick. Culturally and gaming. How things are changing and... Phrases, and yeah, I don't even know what people are talking about anymore. If people talked... You know, for one, I don't really talk anymore over here. I'll be like, hello, and there's, um, yeah, it's just dead air. You can see people have mics, but, um, yeah, they don't talk. Oh, do you? Man, cool. Now, I like both. You know, I like the co-op multiplayer stuff, like Halo. I really get a kick out of that. Or, like, um, Ghost Recon Wildlands and Breakpoint. Those are fun. Or frick, even Minecraft. Y'all, I probably got over a thousand hours in Minecraft. Probably a couple thousand at this point. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's pretty much where I'm at. I just enjoy hanging with my buds as much as I can. Well, I think I'm going to end it there, folks. Thanks for tuning in to Gaming Garbage. Um, I do have uh, I do have a demo out for Lies of P already. That's in the um, Game Reviews playlist. And then um, I just did one on the Summer Games Showcase. Uh, which, that one's about an hour long. Uh, but there's over 40 games in there. Hopefully you guys are doing well. Hopefully you guys are just hanging in there and able to enjoy your weekend. If you can't, the weekend is coming. Just hang on. Things are tough for everybody, folks, but here you can have some moment to rest and just kind of enjoy hanging out. So until next time, we'll see you guys on the next one. Hey, you too, man. 
I really appreciate you coming in and just hanging out for a while. You have a good rest of your day over there. We'll catch you on the next one.